Hi guys, Phil here, uh, and welcome back to day three or step three, however you're approaching this little project. Um, so today we're going to look at um, generating or using these shoes to generate content for our product. Um, so <laughs> let's jump straight in there. We'll carry on from the same uh, point that we left off yesterday, which I think we'd, or I'd isolated and um, identified, what was it? Um, manifesting crystals to attract money. Um, so let's just see uh, how Nishis handles this. Should have had this open, shouldn't I? Really, <laughs> really, guys. It's just about here. Let me just check what time it is. It's 25 to 11 at the moment. Okay. So let's see if we can have this boxed off by a quarter to 11. Okay, so let's see what we got. Um, yeah, let's go to blogs first and foremost. I think everybody kind of starts off from that one. Um, we're going to use the, the blog section and we're also going to use the product descriptions. Um, I kind of find they work quite well together. Um, but whatever floats you about, just uh, check out this process. If it works for you, then <laughs> brilliant. If it doesn't, Find one that works for yourself and please share it with us. It may help other people, including me. Um, so blog post, post, blah, blog post intro, just put my teeth back in there. Um, and a blog post outline. So manufacturer, uh, sorry, blog or company name. It was um, manifesting crystals. So let's see, manifesting crystals for your life give us some descriptive blog category um i work in two areas so i try to kind of like uh, keep these separate even if it's just in my own head i don't know if niches can actually um track and identify what subjects we we like and kind of hone uh, what a what it um delivers back i'm not sure i'll ask malcolm about that uh, i think some of them do uh, but anyway blog category let's go for alternative <laughs> lifestyle can't spell it's getting too late in the day that's it's not that it's just i can't spell uh what the blog is about Altern. let's get that right Altern. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I might, I might just have to edit this video. Let's get it in the 10 minutes. Um, what the blog is about. Um, finance, maybe. Um, no. Manifesting uh, crystals. As, as you can tell, I'm still playing around to this. I don't know if to use these kind of descriptions as a funnel uh, to get down to the, the main keywords. Um, or to just give it kind of a bit of room to play both ways i've been getting decent but different results so um let's see what we get with this so what was this man infesting uh, crystals to to attract money i'm sure that's kind of going against the laws of the universe with crystals but for the purposes of this let's see what we let's see what we get okay so we'll give a issues a ted pull the trigger and see what it comes up with i love these silences and videos <laughs> i always wonder what the people producing the videos are thinking i was thinking then crikey come on come on come on okay so let's see what we got so um Manifest, manifesting crystals to attract money. The financial world is one of those areas in which people most want to manifest their desires. Yeah, go along with that. We've all seen the people who seem to have everything, money, a nice car, a supportive family. And we've all seen people who seem to be struggling with money even though they're working hard for it. Okay, so that's, that is a nice intro. I, I think that's quite a nice, nice intro. It's not focused on uh, manifesting crystals, but I, I like that and I'd probably take that as, as a go. Um, let's see. Next one is, do you have the feeling that money is, is not coming to you, even though you want to do everything you can to attract it? You may want to have a look at your crystals. Okay, that's kind of leading nicely in. 
I wouldn't leave it here. What I, the reason why I use uh, the blog post outlines as well is to spark ideas because I'll show you what I'm, what I'm going to do in a sec. Um, so uh, manifesting crystals to attract money. Cleanse your crystals to, to prepare them. Uh, another nice idea for, for a little blog post uh, or a, a chapter, part of a chapter, looking after your crystals for maximum universal karma. Who knows? Anyway, uh, hold the crystal in, in, in your hands. Meditate while holding the crystal. I'd, I'd certainly do that one. Um, manifesting crystals to attract money. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Yeah, all of those are giving you some, uh, or giving me some ideas for uh, additional content we could generate. So but what, I, what I want to do now is, is add a little bit more to this. So all we do is click on more, which we're going to add more. This type was the blog post uh, intro wasn't it I think yeah it was right then um what can we do with this let's see uh, alternative lifestyle let's see um finance financial health Manifest, manifesting crystals to attract money. <clears throat> okay, let's give this a whirl again. So let's go and take the same data. We just changed one one part of that set of data, and I'd only change one part of the data set that you're given to niches at a time, um, and that way you can identify um, what is working for you, and also give niches the, the opportunity to develop more and more and more content. Um, so let's see what we're getting here. 60 seconds is just enough time for me to have a, a sip of tea. Bear with me. Okay, it's taken a while, so let's just uh, refresh the screen and see what we come up with. Okay, so it gave us two before, and uh, we'll skip those. So we've got more manifesting crystals to attract money. Men, people believe that you can manifest money by using crystals and gemstones. Money is one of the most powerful tools for manifesting your dreams. <laughs> that, that's good. You got, I think that's fantastic. That is also one of the biggest reasons that people can't man manifest what they want. Okay, more uh, kind of uh, scope for ideas here. All right, I'm not going to leave at this point. You see where I'm going on this to generate more content by just changing one of the options and the data given to niches. I would also do exactly the same for, well, we, we did do the same, didn't we? Oh, no, we didn't, because you can only change one at a time. So add more. Blog intro, no, blog post outline for this one. And this was financial well-being, was it? I think we said. Okay, and let's see what outlines this gives us now. How are we doing time-wise? It's, I think we've got a couple more minutes to go. Yeah, <laughs> we should be okay. Okay, so. So we've got more product outlines, sorry. We've got more blog outlines, which gives us more and more ideas. So I just you can either jot these down um, or just copy them into a separate document. You can always come back to niches. I'm one of those people who likes to have a, a separate uh, document in Google Docs from, from work because I like to print them out and just you know sort of mess around with them uh, with a pen to annotate them, etc. But whatever works for yourself. So from here, I'd go back to the manifesting crystals. Uh, the, the blog intros, what I do here is I start using uh, questions and broken sentences. So I'll give an example of both. Uh, you know, the, the what, the who, the why, etc. Pardon me. Imagine you were having a conversation with somebody and you said, right, I'm, I'm off to go and uh, manifest some money with my crystals. People might just say, what? What are you going to do? First question is what? Okay. So a bit of a silly example, but kind of hope the you know where I'm going on this one so uh, what is manifesting crystals now what are 
Oh, uh. Money manifesting crystals. Okay, let's see what we get from this. Okay, and just reiterate this, guys. Go through it with the questions, and you'll develop quite a lot of content. Two things about the content, or three things about the content uh, at this point, because we're going to be doing some acid tests later in, in the week. So the content, first and foremost, the acid test, it's, it's, it's got to be useful, it's, and it's got to make sense. So um, take the data that Nishi's spit out and gives you. Take it and put it into a format that flows and makes sense, your own view, your own perspective on it, or the research that you've done for your, your target market. Put uh, maybe a different spin on what your competitors are doing, or just interpret the data in maybe an unusual way, put a spin on it, make it a little bit entertaining, a little bit different. Uh, so that one makes you a little bit more unique. It will also help you if you're going through any of the uh, the SERP engines or SERP results, then you'll have unique content because I'm 100% I'm sure that Google, Bing, etc., are going to be picking up on this artificially uh, generated uh, content uh, and it'll become down like a ton of bricks unless it's theirs. So I'd future proof what you're doing. And thirdly, you don't want to break copyrights. Yeah, it's as simple as that, guys. So uh, let's see what we've got here. Back to we were asking the question, weren't we? So what are money manifesting crystals? You've heard of manifesting and you've got anything important in, in your life. You'll have hit all you'll you'll have heard of manifesting. It's all around us from the big screen to the small screen, yaki 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 yak, and another nice uh, lead in. So you're breaking down the initial uh, kind of topic into a chapter flow here. So what are they? How do you use them? Why do you use them? Where would you use them? Uh, where would you get them? Yeah, so keep just keep adding to this with questions and change maybe uh, the input uh, fields change one at a time and see what you get. When you, you feel that you've got enough data, then just uh, share it with the world, guys. <laughs> let's uh, let's see what the preview does for us. Okay, so this is what we've got: focus areas, uh, manifesting crystals for your life. Have a scan and see what works for you. Make a note. Uh, of what works, what doesn't work, any areas that kind of resonate with you. I'd then take them, do some keyword research on them. If the keyword research comes back positive and seems that there's a demand and we can satisfy that demand, then actually start using niches to develop content around those particular subjects uh, and topics. Um, and that's what I'd use the, the blog intro and the blog uh, outlines for. So now going on to product descriptions. Let's jump straight in there. <laughs> My videos off the cuff uh, normally are quite, uh, you know, all over the place. But it's, as th I think I, ex I explained, this is the way my mind works. And this is the way that I get processes working for me. This might work for you, might not work for you. Um, Put it on fast forward, pick out what you need, and then forget the rest. Okay. Um, so where were we up to? Products. Okay. So this for me helps fill in some of the gaps sometimes. Uh, uh, niches in the product uh, intros and outlines may have run out of steam. So we'll jump into here and see if it'll generate any new ideas or actually any new content. So product descriptions. Let's see. Manifesting crystals, oops. Oh, what was it, manifesting crystals? I don't know if that was exactly right, but it was along those lines. Uh, business and product keywords, so manifesting crystals. Uh, New age could use that one before, couldn't I? Uh, alternative lifestyle won't give it too much. Short business description we teach people uh, 
how to improve lives with manifesting crystals. Capital we. <laughs> Just in case nobody got the gist of what we did. Um, it's the name of the product. Um, manifesting crystals. And simple description of the product. Um, um, manifesting crystals. What should we say with this one? Um, because it's not it's not kind of um a key uh, aspect of a description for a product. So what I tend to do is I'll look at kind of like the information side. So imagine we're making a, a YouTube video here. I know Nietzsche's got one of those built in, but I I prefer to use the kind of flow here. So manifesting crystals tutorial. Okay, and let's see what um, Nishis gives us with this. I'm always surprised at how quick this machine learning produces data. I mean, it's absolutely phenomenal. For anybody who's worked in a internet marketing for a while, you will have maybe come across spinners. They worked really, really quickly, but the, they completely actually produced utter garbage most of the time, even the more sophisticated ones. Uh, these AI tools are a cut above. So we believe that anyone can manifest things in their life with a little guidance and the right tools. How cool is that for an, uh, an introduction? Our stones are all handpicked. So this is more going into uh, the selling of a physical product, which you could link into um, any uh, free downloads you're going to offer people because you can put affiliate products in there, or you could start selling your own products. But this is mainly an info product that we're looking at now. Um, manifesting crystals are the perfect way to attract what you want into your life. Nice introduction blurb for anything. Um, let's just say numerous people are afraid of crystals and stones and what they may believe is that they are dangerous in some way, but this isn't actually the case. Another nice uh, subject for either a blog post uh, or a chapter, uh, frequently asked questions in a book. Um, so, that's how I'd go about um, generating content with niches. It's a very quick process for niches to develop and spit out the content. The time there is after that though, is translating that data into meaningful information for your audience. Because I, I believe that if we just give this to an audience, one, they're not gonna really get a lot of value from it. And secondly, if we want to sell uh, stuff to people, then our product has got to be worth the value exchange. If we're asking, you know, a dollar for something, five dollars, fifteen dollars for something, we've got to give more than that in exchange. So make sure your products and um, serve a purpose, are useful, and can help people. That's just my point of view. Uh, we, we can all approach that from different ways, and we're going to discuss um, monetizing our products later on in the week. That's it, guys. I don't think I cracked uh, the ten minutes. No, I think I was about three or four minutes over. So my apologies about that. As always, if you've got any questions, give me a shout. And um, if you've got any suggestions, give me a louder shout. Uh, and have a great evening. Take it easy. And hope you're moving along nicely with this one. All right, take care, guys. Bye-bye.